has the digital revolution finally come to healthcare and could digital health be the next frontier for the Internet of Things? With me now are Dr. Andreas Kadoff and Mikhail von Oif of BioVotion to discuss. Well, Andreas, if I might start with you. Digital health, what does this cover exactly and why and where is it seeing significant interest? Think of digital health like individual islands that we've got today. Uh, measurements, uh, physiological monitoring, vital signs, protocols, uh, uh, notes that are being taken by healthcare professionals, a transmission of a protocol, data being sent from A to B, storage, uh, medical records, all of that are today, or mainly today, individual islands. And what digital health essentially does is connecting those islands, making one closed loop and creating efficiency, trust and create that that improvement in healthcare that we're all looking for. Mikhail, over to you now. What would you say are the major difficulties in health today and how does digital respond to this? Currently, healthcare is often provided in silos, be it primary care, hospital care, and uh, home care. There's a lot of inefficiencies, duplications in that process. Often the process is analog and digital health really allows to connect the dots between these islands, between these silos, to provide for continuous care. And such also improve the outcomes for patients and also providers. And Andreas, what are the essential elements to successful digital medicine implementations? If we implement such solutions, measurements at home, a transmission and, and healthcare professionals being involved and all that, etc., the two learnings, the main learnings that we uh, can derive from there is one, you cannot just introduce such technology technology with people, with patients, you really need to replace, adjust business processes, medical protocols, really redefine, redesign them in a way that you can then bring the full potential of, of digital health. That's one thing. The other bit is the cost side. Uh, if you just add additional technology on that, and even that you can very can demonstrate maybe a reduction in hospitalization, which is very significant you still can observe in some of these studies an increase in the overall costs because the procedures behind it have not been adjusted. So these two learnings are very important. This is an incredibly competitive market. What makes BioVotion a leader when it comes to innovation and what are you currently working on? We understand innovation and we understand the way we would like to present our product as really a end-to-end -end type of solution. So the industrial design is very much a human-centered design uh, approach that we've taken. We designed the entire ecosystem around it along with the device, a device that uh, actually comes uh, across like this here. And the focus that we have uh, been given on, onto these devices is really, really this ease of use. We completely eliminated uh, buttons, we completely eliminated the need for cable, for calibration, for tape. It's ultimate ease of use in that sense and this whole multi-sensor as we call it the VSM1 it can be combined with software with sophisticated software we call this codified expert knowledge and that together in that ecosystem with the sophisticated uh, codified expert knowledge that creates an offering which is really end-to-end -end designed coming as one service to our customers. So Mikhail, what would you say are some of the challenges for digital health and wearables? What the healthcare markets are looking for is clinical grade data. And to provide clinical grade data, we need clinical grade devices. We need clinical grade software platforms. We need safe and secure transmission of information. Ideally, combined with ease of use and comfort, which is then accepted by the end user. Integration into daily professional workflows is essential for the adoptance uh, and the acceptance of the technology and digital health in general. And we think we ch cannot just throw technology and data at people and therefore we, we see this integration, we put a lot of emphasis into that to speak to people to, to how the device and the technology is being used. Our technology should not replace the human interaction but support existing human interaction. And what stops you getting commoditized or at least price pressured within 18 months? First of all we are forced to constantly innovate of course. We have developed a connected hardware which we can frequently upgrade to the latest standard of algorithms, software, user interfaces, additional intelligence like predictive, al predictive algorithms which uh, prevent the device itself from being commoditized. It's continually upgraded. Secondly, we aim at offering end-to-end -end solutions which are well integrated, which function for the user and the provider, which are secure and out of one hand, so that the information really is 
reaches the point where it should be with the right person at the right security level. Well, Andreas, finally looking to the future now, what will we see in this arena in the coming years? Dedicated hardware integrated with sophisticated software solutions is receiving tremendous attention. We're seeing a lot of interest in such offerings where this digital health, that definition that we've actually discussed in the beginning here, that these points and dots are connected properly. Uh, that we're seeing uh, uh, solutions that are completely integrated and really can fully unfold uh, their potential. At this very moment, uh, we're really seeing multi-sensor systems being comfortably worn on the human body, integrated and combined with what we discussed before, with so-called codified expert knowledge, delivering such value, prognostic elements, uh, predictive uh, data uh, uh, servings and, and, and offerings uh, around that. And that's something together uh, with ease of use and, and then the use and, and the direction of, of healthcare resources, uh, what we call the time to next observation, uh, that's a parameter uh, people are very much interested in and allow us essentially to have hospital quality, hospital healthcare being brought to the patient's home, which essentially means scalability.